You may be deciding between a few different popular digital photo frames and at Best Reviews, we have done the testing to boil it all down and make sure you can simplify your purchasing decision. I'm Jacob Palmer and if you haven't heard, digital photo frames are making a major comeback right now because they look better than ever and the technology is advanced in a way that they've become easier for everyone to use and what better way to display hundreds if not thousands of photos in one place in your home than by adding a digital photo frame. Today we are here to break down the differences between two of the most popular digital photo frames on the market, one from each end of the price point spectrum on one end. We have the Alluratech 8 inch digital photo frame. And on the other side, we have the Aura Carver Lux digital photo frame, which is packed with features but comes at a little bit of a higher price. So let's get right into it. The Alluratech frame has an 8 inch screen with a standard definition 1024 by 768 resolution and a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. We weren't particularly impressed with how our images appeared on this frame, but felt they looked best when we were standing directly in front of it. On the other hand, the Aura Carver Lux features a 10 inch touchscreen with an HD display. It has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which we were a bit concerned about thinking it might stretch and distort our photos. But in the testing lab, we found this was not an issue. The only problem we noticed with the Aura Carver's display is that it's sort of glossy, which can lead to glare depending on the angle you view it from. Both frames offer plenty of photo storage, but the Aura Carver's capabilities really set it apart from the Alluratech, especially when it comes down to how simple it is to use. The Alluratech frame lets you display photos from a USB flash drive or SD card, and you can use storage devices with up to 32 gigabytes of space, allowing you to display almost up to 20,000 pictures. This simplistic method is great for those looking to save money since you can buy 32 gigabytes of flash drive for around $10. But when you purchase an Aura Carver, you will get unlimited cloud storage at no additional cost and it even lets you store videos in addition to your pictures, allowing you more flexibility when you're uploading your media to the smart picture frame. The only drawback to Aura's approach is that it needs a constant Wi-Fi connection to display your photos. Most Wi-Fi enabled frames require a connection to add photos to the device's internal storage, but don't require Wi-Fi to display the images themselves. With the Aura, you will need a consistent connection to Wi-Fi. The Alluratech doesn't feature internal storage, so your photos need to be saved to a USB flash drive or SD card. This can feel cumbersome to those who primarily use their phone to take pictures, but it's pretty straightforward if most of your photos are already stored on your computer or an external storage device. Additionally, if you're a digital camera user, it is very easy to snap your photos with your digital camera and then put the SD card directly into the Allura Tech frame. The Aura Carver's app makes it so easy to add photos directly from your camera roll with little effort. The learning curve here after you set up the app is basically nothing. You can also add it through email, which is a bit more tedious, but if that's the only way that a user wants to add photos, say they don't have a smartphone, for example, that is a great way to make sure that their photos are also included on your Aura frame. This could be annoying to those who primarily use a digital camera to take pictures, as you'll have to move them from your camera's SD card to your PC before adding them to your frame, but still, it couldn't be any easier for those who take photos from their phone, which has become the predominant way that people take photos these days anyway. So if you're the kind of person that uses your iPhone or smartphone to take photos, the Aura frame makes it so easy. It also allows you to add friends and family to the app. So no matter where they are, they can add their photos to your frame at a few touches of a button. So it makes for the perfect gift for the grandma who's in one part of the country and wants to see her grandkids any time of day, even if they live a distance away. The Alluratech doesn't have a touchscreen. It is controlled by a few buttons on the back its controls are pretty straightforward and the buttons allow you to choose your transition settings, navigate to specific photos, or to set your clock and calendar. And the frame just rotates through photos automatically, so it's very straightforward. 
The Aura Carver has an easy-to-use app that allows you to add and edit photos, invite new users, select specific pictures, react to photos using uh, added by secondary users, and more. Basically, someone who has the frame can send a note back to the original adder saying, I love this photo. And what's nicer than that? It's like the social media without all the downsides of it. It has a touch bar on the display that allows you to change the picture, play live photos, remove pictures, or turn the frame off. It can be finicky at times as it sometimes requires extra taps and scrolling to get where you want to go, and we frequently tap the wrong thing due to the number of options. But overall, this is one of the weakest parts of the design, and it's very easy to manage with a little bit of practice. With the Allure Tech, there's not much to talk about here. The simplicity is its selling point. And once you get through the learning curve of understanding how the hardware works with the device, there really isn't that much more to know with it. The Aura Carver, on the other hand, is a totally different story and has a ton of features. Most are pretty great, but some can be hit or miss. The screen brightness adjusts automatically, which means it will appear brighter in darker rooms, and it works really well, but sometimes it can be a little bright in well-lit rooms. Still, it wasn't particularly noticeable, and we were pretty satisfied with the feature. It can also be controlled with a voice-enabled assistant, like an Alexa-enabled device or a Google Assistant, but the voice commands weren't as accessible as using the app, and it wasn't a bad experience, but we just had to use two voice commands for each action, making it feel clunky, and overall, if that was going to be the reason you bought or didn't buy the device, the voice assistant feature isn't good enough to justify buying the device for that alone. The smart cropping feature was pretty inconsistent as well on the Aura frame. Some photos were auto-cropped perfectly, but others looked pretty bad. Luckily, manually cropping our images in the app was super easy. So whether you're using that fancy feature or not, at the end of the day, your photos are going to look very well cropped on the frame itself. The Aura gets a few bonus points as well for allowing us to add videos. And that is a really cool thing, especially if you're trying to send perhaps the granddaughter's first steps and you want them to relive that moment every time it cycles through your meeting. This is the biggest differentiator between the two. And frankly, in the testing lab, we believe that you're getting what you're paying for. The Alluratech frame costs around $70 and doesn't come with a storage device. Ultimately, you can buy the 32 gigabyte uh, SD card or flash drive for around 10 bucks. And so at the end of the day, you're gonna be well under $100 at around 80 or so dollars. And the Aura Carver costs $150, but that's the all-in cost. And from there, it's so easy to use, you'll be able to do what you need to with that price up front. Both frames offer plenty of storage for your pictures, but the Aura Carver's unlimited cloud storage makes it a clear winner in this regard. The Aura Carver has more features and a bigger and better looking display than the Allure Tech. The Aura Carver has an awesome app and a pretty decent user interface, and you have the ability to let friends or family add photos to your frame. Overall, the Aura Carver is a better digital photo frame for those with a stable Wi-Fi connection, but it does cost about twice as much as the Allura Tech, which is a solid, no-frills frame for those looking for something affordable. For less than 100 bucks, you can display around 20,000 of your favorite memories, and if that's what you need to make your decision on, you won't go wrong. We hope this video helped you simplify your purchasing decision, and if it did, make sure to give us a like. Follow us for more helpful tips. 